You can see we've got some of these edge treatments virtually done. Again, it's pretty sloppy out here, but we've got Luis and Seth over here creating what we call kind of a gravel entry. I really wanted water to kind of follow this curve so you can see what they're doing here is they're getting some cobbles down below in order to help hold this gravel back because everything is sloping down that way. Now we're gonna come in with some smaller gravel over the top to kind of lock everything together and really just set this whole edge off. I wanna make it so that water comes all the way out to here, not making that straight line appearance that you see so often in some projects. We are back out here on this really, really fun, interactive stream project. See the guys behind me working on pulling out the liner. We are going to focus our energy now on this section of stream. We've got our waterfalls and everything essentially built over on that left-hand side behind Luis, right over there. We are going to bury a spillway back behind these rocks over there, and it's going to split, come around that rock, come a little bit this way, and then some over there, and then we'll get some more water bouncing all over the place up there. That's gonna be the height of that waterfall. Now we need to really focus on creating this shape and tying the two streams together, which is going to be a challenge because we want to leave kind of a peninsula pocket area where this stream is going to start back up over there, crash, come this way, crash, come this way, and really separate from this left-hand side one. So it's going to be a trick, I guess, kind of the two entry points for the stream where they converge coming over this rock will be a little bit of a challenge. So hopefully we've got the right rock and we put it in the right place to make it look good and everything will be nice and functional as well. So you can see the guys working on folding back that liner, making sure that we have enough. Looks like we're gonna be really tight over there. So we'll have to probably figure that out, but we got this. So we're gonna keep cruising today. We've got this section roughed in. We still have a lot of fine tuning and detail work to do. It has rained on us a little bit the last few days and over the weekend. So we're gonna just do the best we can and try and keep the job site as clean as we can to avoid any more cleanup than is necessary. But I think we're in great shape to make some serious headway again today. All right. We're making good progress. I'm going to come over here and show you. You can see we've got some of these edge treatments virtually done. Again, it's pretty sloppy out here, but we've got Luis and Seth over here creating what we call kind of a gravel entry. I really wanted water to kind of follow this curve so you can see what they're doing here is they're getting some cobbles down below in order to help hold this gravel back because everything is sloping down that way. Now we're gonna come in with some smaller gravel over the top to kind of lock everything together and really just set this whole edge off. I wanna make it so that water comes all the way out to here, not making that straight line appearance that you see so often in some projects. So what do you think, Luis? You like how it's coming together? Yes, sir. Yeah, looking really, really sharp. Thanks. Again, so then we've got our waterfalls over over here we're working on our waterfalls over there and we're just gonna keep charging away hopefully the weather holds out and we're good to go Day four, day five. It's Wednesday. It's, it's one of those days. We're redoing the end of the day because he couldn't do it on his own. What are you going to do? I don't want to get yelled at in the comments. <laughs> That's the only reason why. Anyway, just kidding. We have crushed it on this project. We've made a lot of good progress the last couple of days. This thing's looking awesome. It's uh, kind of like a little bit of a Christmas birthday gift. It's all wrapped up for you, so you can't see it just yet. But getting this thing done, we've got two more days. You're down a guy, down two guys almost. Hopefully Chris is back. Hopefully. Semi half health tomorrow. Yeah. I'm on to another project with Ed the next two days. That being said, you got a game plan for tomorrow. First off, let me correct him. The dirt is wrapped up. You act like it's gonna rain tomorrow or something. Yeah. Fingers crossed it's not gonna rain. That's why we prepared, because every time we prepare, 
and lay tarps out, it doesn't rain. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't rain tomorrow on Friday. And if, and if it, it rains, does, it's your fault. If it does, it's my fault, first of all, and we're prepared, and so the rain you just won't cause yourself. as much of a mess. Nope, you are correct. It's a good, uh, good plan to have. So that being said, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. He won't. Fingers crossed it's not gonna rain. Well, we got a little bit of rain. So we're making a little bit of a mess today. You see right now, we got everything kind of tarped up. Raindrops are barely falling currently, but it looks like it's gonna be off and on. We may get lucky and it might open up over there, but it's not gonna keep guys like Jack, Corey, Luis, and myself from uh, keep rolling forward on this project. It's turning out so awesome and I'm super pumped. I think what's fun about it is we are gonna run into challenges like this on almost every project, as you guys have seen through our videos, but we continue to roll through and just keep putting masterful work out there. I love this point in the project because you can really start to see it coming together. We're about 85% done with everything. And this is when the vision is really starting to come to life, is that last 10, 15%, the detail work, the, you know, just kind of the finishing touches that are pulling everything back together. It's when, you know, that bombshell of a job site starts turning into gold, when we start re grading everything, cleaning things up, which we're gonna have a hell of a lot of cleanup on this project because of the rain. But you can see we've got some detail work going on over here, which I absolutely love. You've got Corey and Luis working on forming up this waterfalls, which is going to look awesome. But we brought in some moss over here. We've got Corey. What are you doing over here, pal? Well, I'm covering over this gap between the frame rock and the spill rock because if I don't, then the majority of the water is gonna come over here. But what we want is for more of it to come over the actual spill rock as well as the one over here. That's awesome. So obviously all this foam is gonna get covered up with moss, but the waterfalls is going to split around the high point or this rock right here, which is the high point between there and then back over here. So what they're doing is putting a crap load of foam in here because there were a lot of big gaps, but just kind of piecing this all together. And then we'll end up covering that with some of this moss and gravel and that kind of stuff so yeah and once it dries we're gonna scrape a lot of this foam away so obviously you won't be able to see that when the end result is there but um yeah we wanted to really make sure that we got behind all these rocks that way none of the water escapes behind them and that as much of it goes over the rock as possible so yeah it's the detail work that is really really important here at the end it's fun to kind of steamroll through you know the big stuff and really set the tone for the project but I think the funnest part at least for me is is seeing the detail work come together and really start finishing everything off. So really, really love how it's going. We're gonna pray that we get as little rain as possible, but like you saw, the job site, we've got everything tarped, all of our bare dirt tarped. Where and when we need it, we will uncover it, use it to backfill, but we are just gonna keep cruising right along and just try and muscle through and hopefully uh, Mother Nature cooperates. All right. just stopped raining we are at the finishing line folks the finishing line we are here we are just wrapping up our cleanup the rain a lot of times will just help kind of clean everything off unfortunately this time it made things a much bigger mess but now you can see the sun is shining so very very strange weather we're having the last i don't know couple days out here but turn the camera around we brought in some reinforcements we've got josh grant and garrett over here who you've seen from our videos in the past and then of course you've got jp team aquascape what's up ch <laughs> bam and then you got cs over there yeah so you got gg gg jd jp ch ch cs we're just missing a couple letters in the alphabet yeah i think uh dk or something like that yeah yeah right, so <laughs> LOL. <laughs> hey, so yeah, so this is still the remains of the mess that we made, but I feel like bringing in the track machine good skidster idea. was a good idea. Otherwise we would have been like a pig on skates. You've got Corey finishing up the patio. Just on the back side of that, you could see the rock work and a little bit of water in there. Everything is running, but you're gonna have to wait until I come back to see it because I don't want to put my muddy boot prints on that patio after Corey has just spent the last six hours washing it off. Plus I want the water to kind of clear up. I want to get some better lighting and I also want to be able to take the 
time to give you guys a great kind of walkthrough of what the project or how the project was constructed, what went into it, and then just do kind of a, I don't know, just a, a really solid wrap up for you guys and girls out there. I've seen some comments. We've seen some comments recently that you want to see more in depth walkthroughs. So I want to be able to give you that opportunity. So stay tuned till the next video. But until then, take them home, Jack. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>